Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more RimWorld. So, I was looking around a bit, and uh, Kevin's bed is going to now become for prisoners. Um, it's also going to be a medical bed. And this room over here is, it's currently set for, for medical regular. I might need him to be for prisoners, actually. Prisoner use medical. Prisoner use medical. Prisoner use medical. Because I noticed that we have two survivors. Komaro and Dog. And then we also have the, the guy who dropped from space. How's DeWald's health? Is she, like, ready to wake up? You need to heal. Raj. I know you're tired, Raj, but you need to get out there and uh, get these people. We've got you who are 13% whole body blood loss, like healing these people. I don't know if it's worth even trying. We can try to convert them, I think. I'd rather go for Plek. I think Plek's more important. Plek's more likely. Because he, you know, didn't just come attack us. DeWald, can you please... You know, you're just going to have to sleep later. You've got to go out here and get these guys. DeWald. Capture. You have been cut. You really should be treated. I think that that could end up becoming permanent if we don't if we don't heal it. Weakened working efficiency. It's not a big. It's not really a serious wound, but I'd still rather not have it. What's your job now? Eating eating a fine meal. Can you please go get this other guy first, and then you can do whatever you want. I promise. Habanero is uh, carrying fine meal, feeding fine meal to Kevin. It's very nice of you. My bedroom's got all messed up. Alright, DeWald, you can go eat your fine meal. So we got two prisoners and Plek, a random guy who's in extreme pain with a bruise. We only have 12 medical packs, so to heal everyone up I think we're okay, but... Habanero is apparently trying to heal Kamaro. Roof has collapsed because apparently the most important thing for us to do right now is DeWald is going to go chop stuff down. I s okay, DeWald, you're done. You're done with mining. No more mining for you. It's not allowed. Stop that. Kamaro has received poor quality treatment. Raj was our healer, right? Medicine 9. Um, I feel like, does Kevin still need heals? Habanero, let's, uh, can we make this medical? Prioritize receiving treatment in bed. I want to heal her up, too. Raj, feel free to finish your food, and then, uh... Feeding fine meal. How many do we prioritize? How hungry is she? Pretty low. Alright, go ahead and do that. Feed her up. And now you are going to heal her. Good, 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 good. Good job, Raj. You please me. Trade ship is passing by. They are a food trader. We're doing okay on food. We need medical supplies. Kevin, minor, is no longer incapacitated. Poorly sutured, poorly bandaged, sutured. Okay. It's been poorly bandaged. Does that mean that she needs more medical treatment before she can actually... This doesn't need to be a medical bed, then. So Kevin doesn't actually have a bed. Need colonist beds? Yes, we do. I'm still not fully 100% understanding how this... these numbers work, you know? Seriously impaired, 3 out of 10. What the hell does that mean? Three out of ten, okay, that must be the number of, like, 
health points that this item, this, this body piece has. Okay, but... Abanero has no injuries now. Okay, so the poor bandage apparently worked. Dog has received poor quality treatment from Raj. I don't understand what the difference between poor quality and high quality treatment is. So first we shoot them to death, and then we try to help them out. Kevin is uh, apparently pretty much back up to snuff. He survived. Yay! Happy days! Oh, and uh, weren't there dead bodies a while ago? Did we bury people? Place the dead in graves to give them a final resting place. The... Yep, that's who's in there. Okay. Well, we'll need to bury these other dead people that we shot, wherever they are. That's what they get for attacking. I mean, it's their own fault. What are these? Package survival meals. We should pick those up. We might we might actually have quite a few little slaves. I mean, workers here soon. If these guys can be converted. If they don't die. Black has been poorly bandaged. Okay, I see. So every now and then, the poorly bandaged is... I think I get it. Okay, so probably what it is is the quality of the medical work increases the rate that the thing ticks back up to full. I think that's how it works. Because poorly bandaged is still healing this person completely. So Plek is pretty much... Yeah, Plek has no injuries now. I don't know why it says he's in extreme pain. That doesn't make sense. Let's go ahead and build some... Power doors. Pretty much just want power doors everywhere now. Kevin's gonna need a bed again. So Dewald, Abnero. This is considered to be a... I've got it all messed up. It's for prisoner use. Because there aren't doors to the rooms. We'll get it squared away here soon. We have six medical supplies now. We're really low. People are going to get really injured badly. Is there any way that I can find some more silver to trade? To, like, buy medical supplies? We have all this metal. What's Kevin up to? Kevin is hauling metal to build a wall. Alright, well, we're about to expand and have quite a bit more space to work with. I think we're going to need a metal door over here, too. Enemies can't come in through our doors, can they? I guess maybe they can. Alright, so, prisoner. No interaction, friendly chat, execution. Gets medicine, doctor's care. Alright, we're going to try to recruit, we're going to feed him, and we'll have friendly chat. Okay, dog. Seriously impaired still. Looks like, um, pretty much we've healed almost all your wounds. Prisoner, same thing. Friendly chat. Recruitment difficulty 90. I, I mean, I don't really know. I guess we'll try. We'll try to recruit them all. Is there a way to, like, maybe just beat them? If we beat them, can we make them wanna wanna join us? I bet a food trader probably has medical supplies on it too. Kevin, you're the man. I love Kevin. He's the best. Need to finish these doors, Kevin. Can I prioritize these doors? Kevin. Seriously. Prioritize working on powered door. It's nice, you can basically focus or force... Oh, these colonists are exhausted and need rest. Ah, crap. So the problem is that Raj doesn't have a bed. Oh, crap. Well, Dewald, this is now no longer your bed. This is now Raj's bed. 
Meanwhile, Kevin will finish this door. Dog? What are you doing walking around? Oh, I see. So this is now your room. Okay, that, that kind of works. That means that this can be set as uh, for colonists, and this is now non-medical set owner. This is uh, <coughs> Dewalt's bed now. So we get all mixed up. Kamaro Scout is fully healed. And these guys are actually able to move through all these different rooms because it's the prison ward. Did I not take their weapons? I must have, right? Like, we wouldn't leave them with weapons, would we? Do they, like, leave their guns? Yeah, there's a short bow there. Oh, the L15 LMG got dropped. Kevin. Kevin. Pick your damn gun up. It's more important than anything else. You gotta have your you gotta have your gun. Food traders leaving comms range. You know, we don't do we have we don't have any prepared meals, do we? We've got raw fruit, raw potatoes. Where's the damn cook? DeWald, you're the cook, aren't you? DeWald? Cook stove, Bill, cook fine meal forever. Fine, at least make a simple meal. Is the issue that we don't have enough... Yeah, we must not have enough materials to make fine meals. What's the deal with fine meals? Like, like okay. <clears throat> it doesn't say... Somewhat complex meal from a combination of raw meat and raw plant ingredients. It doesn't say. I don't see where it says, like, three materials, two materials. Like, how many different components do we need? <laughs> Kevin, what are you doing? You're eating raw fruit. That's not going to make you happy. Urgently hungry. Apparently there's a lot of dirt in this house. Can you see the dirt? I think I can see dirt on the ground. I want to get all these rooms built. I have a feeling, though, we're going to get attacked before we actually um, get a chance to to do anything. And this is going to have to become Kevin's room again because it's, you know, blue. Can I, can I like, move you to another room? Oh, I know what I can do. I can make this set. This, this set this for colonists. Somebody should take him. Over there. There's three prisoner beds. That should work just fine. Okay. Dog is just hanging out in this room now. I really feel like Dog, who is still seriously impaired. Your sight is poor. Well, a group of tribes people have arrived. See, I had a feeling they are attacking immediately. Damn. All right, so these guys are coming from the, what, the southwest. We've got our guns here. Kevin, get a rest up, man. Raj is, uh, she's, she's done a little bit of cooking. How are we supposed to... I think, you know what, maybe if we just stay indoors... Maybe the, the defense turrets can protect them. Raj, I want you to... I mean, there's no zone control. Like, I can't force her to come inside. Well, I can. I can draft her. Just draft her and send her inside. Uh, we'll draft you. And have you head to there. DeWald. We're going to have you drafted as well. And you're going to go, like, work on doors. You're not a constructor, okay. What can I make you do? You're a grower, miner, cook. 
Well, then go cook, you dummy. We don't have a good mixture of stuff. Sure we do, we've got all this food here. <sighs> Cannot haul berries, no empty place configured to store it. Well... We want to control... What are you talking about? Is it because it's already in storage? I'd really prefer for it to be indoors. Let's say that you can't hold berries. And now we can tell DeWald to pick them up. And she'll bring them indoors. Alright, so the turrets are going to hope hopefully hold these guys off. Meanwhile, Raj is going to hopefully evade any shots. And Abanero with the Lee Enfield is going to hide here now. Shoot him. What are your chances? 14%, that's pretty good. Oh, headshot, you're dead. Only a 13% chance from here. Improvised turret has 120 health. Nice. Abanero did it. She'll hold him off. Damn, she is a good shot. I mean, she has like an 8% chance and she's she's getting him. Improvised turret only took another hit. Got another uh, dead guy up there. You're in shock. You're dead. I don't know if we have room for more prisoners. They are fleeing. You are dead. Nice work, Abnero. Alright, you are no longer drafted. Okay, so for you, um, we're not going to try to recruit you guys anymore. Because you guys, I think, are going to be very, very difficult. We'll feed them. I guess. Giddy is still in shock. Should we capture him? Alright, go ahead. Where's Kevin? Once he gets done with this metal wall thing, he'll probably take care of, you know, the turrets that I ordered up a few videos ago. We really do need him to prioritize finishing these doors. Alright, so we have berries and potatoes. You know what? Probably the reason why she's not making any meals, actually. I think I get it now. Possibly, is that we don't have any meat to mix with them. So we're going to have to go hunting again. We're not going to butcher any humans. That would be insane. Guinea has received poor quality treatment. Do we have to have um, a bed for every prisoner? Maybe we don't. So you have that stab scar in your health. And you are starving. Nice. You know what I think I also need to do? Okay, um... We need someone to, to do wardening. Wardens visit prisoners to recruit them, have a nice chat, beat them, or execute them. Whatever you have decided, wardens also deliver food. So since I only have one guy on the lowest priority, they're not getting fed. Okay, so relevant skills, social. Who do we have that would be a good warden? Social three, 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 seven. So it is Raj. It's gonna have to be Raj. Raj, the doctor warden. Doctoring's higher priority than wardening, but wardening is priority two. And that means that Raj, you also really need to not worry about anything else. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video, as always. Thanks for watching. See you soon.